Hello and welcome everyone. Let's uh, take another example. It's uh, also using inverse Laplace using a partial fraction. So inverse Laplace using partial fraction. Get inverse Laplace of this function. We do it when we, you know, like we don't have any solution in far so far. Okay. Alright, so you can think with me. I want, like, for example, you want to put like this 3 over s square minus 3s. Do you have do you have a function like this that you can get Laplace for? You don't. Okay. So now let's use the technique of partial fraction. Partial. partial fraction to simplify this equation in order to get inverse of last four. So very simple. Very simple. We're gonna take up the inverse of this for this. A over S plus p over s minus 3, just any any simples. The first one on this, okay, the second second simple on this. Good. So what else we do? Okay. Take this side, 3 over s S minus three. Because th the down is equal. Okay, so if you put this like this. Okay, P S minus three. The down is equal, then also the up is equal. This is the theory of partial fraction. If the down are equal, the up is also equal. So we're gonna take the up and then we're gonna use it. So we can take the up with the with this function. So we have three and then multiply like this. S S minus three. Then A multiply by S minus 3. Okay. We will take the up right now, but not right now. Okay. Plus B S. Again, the down is equal, so the up will be also equal. So this is the theory of partial fraction. So this means 3 equal to A S minus 3 plus B S. That's it. You need to get the value of A and B. You need to get the value of A and B. Very simple. So if you put put S equal to 3, this will be cancelled out. So we will have B3 equal 3, so P equal 1. 3P equal 3. That means that P equal 1. Okay. Very well. Put S equal 0. Boot to get rid of this term. Boot s equals zero. Then this term cancel out. Zero. 
So a will be minus 3a equal 3, mean, meaning that a equal to minus 1. Very well, now we have the values of a and b. Inverse Laplace of this function is any constant over s is constant, is a. Thus, okay, let's just make it near the function. That will be better. Okay. A. A constant over s shift 3. A number. 1 over s shift 3, whatever it is, or any constant. 1 over s shift 3. So it means e to the x to the shift bar. B, so this is plus A plus B. We just take it out and then through here. So, as we did in the previous examples, there was something like there, which is where the here B, then we imagine there's one right there. Also, the same idea we just remove A from here. And we put 1. So we know the inverse Laplace of 1 over s is, is 1. Because Laplace transform of 1 is 1 over s. C over s, 1 over s. Okay. Laplace transform of, uh, for any constant is C over s. So the same idea. We got it. So this is a multiplied by 1 is a. Plus. 1 over s minus a minus 3 so it's like the formula of 1 over s minus a so this is exponential a to the a2 and the shift so we got the equation a plus 3 a plus b e to the power of 3t okay and we used partial fraction to get the value of a and b, then plug in the value of a and b. a is equal to minus 1, b equal 1, so it will be like this. Minus 1 plus e to the power of 3. Or you can put it like this. Okay, just to make it a little bit nice. So this is how to use the partial fraction to solve a problem regarding inverse Laplace transform. All you do right there, you just take this, okay, put A over this, and then B over this, okay, then get Laplace for it. Then solve using partial fraction E over S plus B over S minus 3, multiply the down. And then cross a, a by s minus 3 plus b by s. Then the down is equal, then the upper was equal, will be equal to. This is the theory. Then we're going to take the up together. We're going to take this all together, as we did right there. And then we're going to put s equal 3 to get b and s equal 0 to get a thank you for watching this video and if you don't know Laplace transform please watch the previous videos before watching in first class if you like this video please subscribe to our channel to help us give you more information give you more examples to to help you more thank you and see you in the next video